Rafi, you have the most colorful background of, of anyone so far. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Daniela, my name is Rafi Mediavilla from Criticologos.com. Thank you for taking your time uh, to talk about uh, your, your, your role in the movie. And congratulations. Thank you so much. So I'm going to give you a heads up. I don't know if you see the, the, the flag right here, but I'm coming to you live from San Juan, Puerto Rico. So my first question has to be, how did they treat you down here while you were recording? Did you have fun? Did you enjoy the food, the, the culture, the humidity? and the heat? <laughs> Well, you know what's so funny? I always, um, my grandpa, uh, it's one of my grandpa's favorite places. And he, I was supposed to go with him. And I always wanted a reason to go to the island. And then this movie came along and I was like, oh, perfect. And so I got to spend three months there. It was absolutely beautiful. I have no complaints. Um, our crew was lovely and professional and, you know, they shoot a lot of movies there. So mm -hmm. it's a seasoned crew. Uh, our, a lot of the actors on the film are, are locals. Um, and I've said this before, but for being a small island, the abundance of talent is crazy. Yeah. It's, it's like it's like witchcraft. I don't know, but it's like small and there's just so much there. Also, as far as food goes, Pio Nonos. Pio Nonos are my new, that's my new love of my life. <laughs> ah, that, yeah, that's, well, I mean, the food in here is great, everything here, the, the beach, everything here is great. I, I want to talk about Bonnie and then, and then I think the first question, the, the way I want to talk about her is mostly about, she's the flight attendant and I think, and I want to know if you have newfound respect for that specific job and how far did you went into doing research about what what they do because we see them when we go to airports and we we we're in our flights but we don't really think of what they're doing they're just there doing their job so I want to know if, if you just follow the script or did you went you know get there for a while and did a little bit of research behind what they actually do Yes. Um, well, it's, uh, you know, I've, I've flown a lot. So I've always had the experience of being on a plane from a passenger's perspective. I did go out of my way to talk to a lot of flight attendants and it is such a thankless job. They do so much. First of all, it's dangerous. Even a regular flight is dangerous and they're risking themselves to get me a beverage, you know? So um, sometimes I feel like uh, they're, they're not honored and, and highlighted enough. Um, and especially after this film, oh, I have a new appreciation for, for, for flight attendants. Um, but it, you know, when it comes to flying the plane, yes, it's the captain, but for everything else, mm -hmm. all the safety protocols, the emergency landing, what to do with the passengers, that is solely on the responsibility of the flight attendants. Mm -hmm. And um, we had a couple of captains who were consultants on the movie. And there were so many times where they had to speaker speed dial one of the flight attendants for an answer to a question. Mm -hmm. I mean, they really are completely knowledgeable. So yes, after this film, if I didn't respect them before more, I beyond now. One of the things that stood out to me from the film is this, this film screams 90s action film. I mean, yeah. we're, we're talking about uh, Air Force One. We're talking about Die Hard. We're talking those times. I mean, and and those times we relied um, a lot on on on, on you know, practical effects. We there weren't computers around, and you the actors had to do all their 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 the jobs, all the different it. situations. So I wonder. Obviously, dealing with, our, I know our humidity kills everyone, it's difficult, but I want, I want to know how did you pre prepare yourself physically to deal with this, so many demanding uh, physical scenes, how did you prepare yourself physically for it, how, did you have to go through a specific uh, training process, uh, or were, were you aware uh, from the beginning what you were, what you were doing to do, speak about this process. Yes. Well, um, I think it's really important just as a generality. I think it's really important for actors to stay in shape because things change on the fly and they rewrite things and they have new ideas. And, you know, you can't be out of shape and be an actor. You just can't because you also just have to protect yourself. You have to protect your back. You have to protect all these things. And um, there were a lot of surprises that that I wasn't um, necessarily prepared for uh, but were super fun, like uh, sliding out of the plane. I had never done that before. Um, you know, working on, I've worked on gimbals before, but the gimbal that the plane was attached to and the movement, 
that was fun, but it was also like, you really had to watch yourself because that plane really was jolting around. And actually, uh, Jerry had a moment where he hit his head on, uh, the side of, um, of one of the cabinets, uh, the overheads, and he was supposed to hit his head in the scene, but he really hit his head in the scene. And we actually had to stop and like, he was bleeding and then of course it's the the French director was like that's the shot we're using that shot in the movie and that is in fact the shot that they use in the film uh but um yeah it was it was awesome you know I'm a big lover of practical effects if you can you know wherever if you only unless you absolutely need it practical always wins and yeah. so um I felt really I felt really, I felt very fulfilled being a part of a movie that had a, that made me reminisce of the '90s. You know, Daniela, you already have done so much in your career, but I want to talk a little bit about working with Gerard Butler, and, and not, not only from the actor's point of view, but he's also producing. He's doing. He has different hats yes. in this one. Did he give you any pointers? He, well, how was it working with him? He seems like a nice guy. Talked about the, talk us about the procedures. Yeah, you know, I don't think Jerry gave me necessarily any pointers, but I think he is um, an example of who you want to be. So I think just being in his presence and watching him, how he works, um, I think he's sort of the, the pinnacle of what you want to be. You want to be someone who is A, really good at their job. Um, B, you want to have an enthusiasm that sort of carries and brings the momentum of the rest of the crew and the actors and the cast and everybody else forward. And you want to be kind while you're doing it. And Jerry is all of those things. And so he led by example. Um, and, you know, uh, one of these days when I lead my action movie, I want to be more like Jerry. <laughs> um, before I let you go, I want to do a fun question, something that maybe will make you laugh. I wonder... If 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 Faye Valentine had to be on Bonnie's shoes, how would you think she would handle the situation? Oh my gosh! If Faye was on the plane, uh, for I don't know, I, oh, it would be a disaster. It would be an awesome <laughs> disaster. She would first of all be running ahead of Jerry and Mike, and they'd be like, "Where are you going?" And she's like, "I'm going to go do the thing you don't want me to do." So it would probably be a fantastic disaster. <laughs> 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 That's a cowboy diva reference, just you know, so people, so people that are watching know. Uh, yes. uh, Daniela, thank you for your time. Thank you once again, and congratulations on the film. It's really fun. Thank you so much.